What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Lexi Gavin. I'm a professional poker player and coach, and I am going to be vlogging every single day of the World Series of Poker, or every day that I play, which is almost every day. Uh, today I am playing in the $600 Turbo. I know I said I wasn't gonna play yesterday, and I said I was gonna take today off, but I woke up and it's a new day, and it's beautiful, and I'm just feeling it, so I'm gonna go with it. You get down on yourself at times, but you pick yourself right back up and then it's just like nothing ever bad happens. So, all right, I don't wanna to be too late. Uh, you start with 30,000 chips and the blinds increase every 30 minutes. So let's go. All right, you guys, I am heading back over to the Bally side. I have yet to play a tournament on the Paris side and I really want to because... The, oh, thanks Jack. Jack Apple, ladies and gentlemen, the tournament director of the World Series Poker. Really great guy, super cool. Shout out to Jack Apple. Heading over to the poker room on the Valley side. Uh, yesterday, the AC was broken, so I'm hoping they fixed it because it was brutal. It's getting really hot in Vegas, so we are here. We're ready. I'm excited. Lots of people, lots and lots of people. Okay, let's go. All right. Let's go. Different really chips well? today. Got a lot of chips over there. <laughs> okay. Well, I was just okay. Pick okay. You, you know. Let's go. Look at this prime seat I have for people watching. Right on the corner. That's perfect. I'm not in this sea of humans. Hello. <laughs> not in this crazy sea. We have some room to breathe. Excellent vlog, by the way. Ah, uh, thank you, sir. <laughs> thank you so much. Blocking hearts. This I'll see you. Not a race off. Oh man, you got there. Nice one. All right, so we're on the first break. Um, kind of tilted from a situation that happened. This one guy had a problem with me filming at the table, and he made a whole big stink about it. The floor came over, told him that I was allowed to film. He insisted on calling Jack Eiffel, the tournament director who's a really busy guy and I don't want to bother him, but whatever. So the floor guys called him, you know, Jack said it was okay for me to film and the guy was just having a hissy fit. So I'm trying not to let it bother me. I have a feeling this is going to kind of be a theme of this summer. I think a lot of people are going to have trouble, you know, have a problem with me filming at the table. So I'm going to try to be a little bit more respectful and like maybe not film as many hands, but the floor told me to do my thing. So I don't know, I'm a little conflicted. No, you know what? We're gonna keep doing our thing. Screw that guy. Anyway, it's just like, have some love for the vlog, man. Like, the more people I reach, the, the better it is for poker in general. So whatever, just gonna shake it off and build up on the next couple levels. All right. This is the guy that's giving me problems about recording. He's, he's, he told me that I paid off Jack Uffle. And he's basically saying because I'm a woman that I get to do whatever I want, right? No, no, not a woman. The woman. The woman. <laughs> So it takes me off the hook. Alright, we need help. Alright, this is your fight. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Can you have first chance? Oh, that's never good. Queen. Okay. Nice hand. Thanks. Alright. Nice playing with it. Nice playing with it. All right, I busted the first bullet. Honestly, kind of a little, not not happy, but just a little relieved that I don't have to go back to that same table. That guy continued on after the whole thing was settled. He looked at me and said, you must be a Democrat. Like that's an insult. He said that I paid off Jack Ethel to be able to film. That was a fun one. He also said that I only get my way because I'm a pretty girl and life is easier for me. And he also said that I should be his mistress. So not a nice person. And I hate 
letting these things bother me at the table. I mean, you guys saw, I lost a flip. There's nothing I could do there, but, and it didn't affect the way that I played, but just took a little walk. Uh, I reset and I'm good to go now. So not gonna let that guy bother me anymore. <laughs> All right, uh, on to bullet number two. New table, new five on the first hand. down to like 15 big blinds I actually bluffed off most of my stack uh, under the gun who's like a solid pro uh, excuse me, from Israel raises to 2200 the blinds are 500 1000 with a 1000 big blind ante it folds around to me in the big blind and I call with nine of hearts, eight of spades. I am 35,000 effective. So we're heads up, the flop is jack of hearts, 10 of hearts, four of clubs. He see bet and I call. Now there's one heart on the flop and I have one heart in my hand. So I have a gut shot. Uh, I only have nine high and I have a heart blocker. I could chuck raise this spot, I thought about it, but he looked like he wasn't in a folding mood. So I flat and try to spike my gut shot on the turn, which I don't. The turn is the nine of diamonds. Now I decide to donk lead here. I donk lead uh, 6,600. And the reason I did this is because I didn't really want to check call. Like I don't love check calling my hand. And I thought that if he had like a 10 or something that he might consider folding or an under pair, or even if he had a hand like ace king that he see bet the flop with. So I donk lead and he calls after he tanks for a little bit. The river is a six of spades, so everything bricks. And I bet 16,000 and he snap shoves and I fold for my remaining 10K. And he showed king 10, so uh, yeah, he turned it straight, but I feel like that should have worked. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, interesting spot. Maybe could have just given it up on the river, but whatever. Anyway, uh, on to the next. Hey, Brad Owen. How's it going? Hello. This is the vlog legend. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, good. I just left off most of my trips. Yeah. Yeah, how are you doing? Oh, uh, I, I just registered this nut shop and I'm trying to figure out where, where is, I always go. It's all the way back there. You have to wait on the line, but we're on break now, so okay. you might want to just uh, hold on. Sure. All good right. Good to see you. Thanks. Good luck. Bye. He's the best. And a gamble for the video. For the video. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. All right. Okay. I'll take that. Queen. Okay. No queen. Uh -oh. All right. Ah, uh, thank you, vlog. The channel thanks you. I got a double because of the channel. So he said, but I'll take it. Yeah, baby, we bet. Ooh. All right. 92. Okay. Folded the me in the small blind. I shipped it with 10 bags, got called by King Queen. Oh, it looked like one. Seven. Seven. Nope. <laughs> Alright, good game. Good luck, guys. That's a wrap in the 600 deep stack for me. Uh, it's okay. Still so early in the series, too early to be bitter. Just remember that. If you're out here grinding, there's no crying in poker. Standard spot there with the queen six, uh, with ten big blinds. Like I said, it folded to me in the small blind, and I just shipped there. Uh, with 10 digs. I have so much fold equity um, that, and that guy didn't have that much more than me so he would have had to call off a pretty decent portion of his tournament life but he just happened to have it there so snap called from him 
as he should. Anyway, uh, gonna go home and just chill. By the way, if you guys happen to see me, please come say hi. I love meeting the people that support the vlog, so I love you all. which, you know, don't get me wrong, it's nice, but I feel like this is where all the real WSP vibes are. Let's go say a quick hi to the future hubby. Here he is. He's still in. I have to I'm not. Table. Here, let me escort you. I'll oh, walk you to you. class. Oh, thank you. Like a good future wife. Uh, Even though I'm like kind of bitter that you're still in and I'm not. Yeah. Well, it's not me. Think of this as Dream Bob. How's that? Oh, you guys don't know about Dream Bob yet. Oh. You will, trust me. Look at the sea of poker players. 5,000 players. Right. Dealers in the living building were at 300 small blind, 500 big blind, 5,000 5, players in the 600. Minutes. And it's only one re-entry per flight. So I'm not even allowed to Bye again. Hi, Vanessa, Vanessa K, the legend. <laughs> uh, not even allowed to enter again. All right, everyone, I am home. Going to just reflect, maybe do some journaling, maybe do some work. Uh, I am in my office. This is where the magic happens, where I produce all of this lovely content for you guys. So, Tomorrow is the $1,500 one re-entry tournament, and I will most likely play that. So, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, hit that subscribe if you wanna follow the rest of my WSOP journey, and I love you all. And if you're out here at the World Series, uh, best of luck to you, and come say hi. Love to see you guys. All right, thanks again, guys, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.